It's now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to March 29th, the year 2024, when the Nashville Purrs were in Arizona to take on the Coyotes for the final time this regular season. Head coach Andrew Burnett deploys his lines and defensive pairings in the following way. Forsberg, O'Reilly, and Nyquist, Zucker, Sissons, and Glass, Jankowski, Novak, Evangelista, Smith, McCarron, and Sherwood, Yossi, and Shen, McDonough, and Barry Stastny back in the lineup. And also Luzon. Soros gets the start in net. We are 26 seconds into the first period. And it's Ingram coming up with a save on Smith's backhand. The first shot on goal. The game at 105. Off the first period, it's Ingram coming up with another save on O'Reilly. 222. Our first breakthrough in scoring. It's Zucker for the Nashville Purs. His 12th goal of the season. Glass with a great feed from down low to the mid slot for a strong wrist shot and finish. The Nashville Predators lead early one to nothing, but at 5:11 of the first period, it's Zucker again with his 13th goal, second of the game, second of the period, and it's Glass again setting up another strong shot opportunity for Zucker and the Nashville Predators quickly pounce on the Arizona Coyotes for a two-goal lead here in the first period. 5:36 of the first, Soros comes up with a save on Kesserling. It's his first save of the game. 6:40 of the first period, Ingram comes up with a save on McCarran at the eight-minute mark of. The first high intensity action here. McBain picks up his eighth goal. This season getting Arizona on the board now. So in the first eight minutes of the game, we have three total goals, two for Nashville, one for Arizona. The pass attempt across the top of the slot catches the pad of UC Soros, finds the five hole, then slips right across the goal line and into the net. McBain not intentionally shooting, but he is scoring. 9.35 of the first, Soros comes with a save on Kerfoot. 10.42, Ingram comes with a save on the captain, Roman Yossi. 13.44, Soros comes up with a save on Gunther, and at 14.08 of the first period, it's Connor Ingram coming with a save on Sherwood. 15.14, Ingram, a save on Gus Nyquist, and at 15.43, it's Soros coming up with a save on Doan. Strong rush to the net here using that good youthful power and speed to get to the net of the scoring opportunity 1634 of the first period Ingram comes with a save of Luke Evangelista at 17 minutes of the th first period it's Cooley with his 14th goal of the season it was a wrist shot off of the rush kind of a softish goal here for UC Soros got a good look at it nobody deflected it but it goes into the back of the net Two to two now after 17 minutes of hockey. 1824 of the first period. It's Ingram coming to save at Nyquist. And then 1922 of the first period. It's Sherwood off to the box. Two minutes for boarding. And he definitely deserved that penalty right there. You see, Saros would have to come out with a save on Keller. And then Saros would have to come with a save on Kerfoot's deflection. And then Saros, another save on Dursey. The Arizona Coyotes just piling on the offensive opportunities here on this power play as we hit the end of the first period. The Preds saved by the bell here at the end of 20 minutes. 13 shots a goal for Nashville, 12 for Arizona. The Preds started off the game with a two-goal lead and six consecutive shots to start before Arizona clawed right back into it. Carryover of 122 on the power play for Arizona. Sees UC Soros come in with another save on Dursey. Four total saves for UC Soros on this penalty kill. Arizona relentless. The Nashville Predators were not relentless in this particular situation just pressure the entire two minutes it wasn't for the period break i don't think the national partners would have survived this situation we're now 219 in the second period. UC Soros coming up with a save on Doan's deflection at the 236 mark. It's Ingram coming up with a save on Glass 449. Ingram comes up with a save on McCarron plus his rebound follow-up jam opportunity. We go to 542 now of the second period. Soros comes up with a save on Kraus at 558 now of the second. It's Shen versus O'Brien. Five minutes each, two heavyweights, and they exchanged some big punches, then had a pretty funny chirping exchange in the box after the fight ended, but it did not get the home crowd fired up the way O'Brien had planned to. Shen certainly represented himself quite well. But the Predators go ahead and lose that momentum when at 6.52 of the second period they take a penalty for too many men on the ice. That's two minutes, but they won't be shorthanded that long because Keller is cashing in for his 31st goal of the season. It was an easy finish after some really solid passing. The Arizona Coyotes kept the puck in, knocked down the clearing attempt out of midair. That seemed to set the timing for the Preds defense completely off and they already were a little bit off in this game so an easy finish for Keller to get his 31st goal of the season he has just barnstormed the Preds team speaking of barnstorming 
It's 3-2 to two at this moment in favor of Arizona, but at 8-11 in the second, Cooley, his 15th, he uses the speed burst and goes far side for the tuck-in and makes it 4-2 to two now in favor of the Arizona Coyotes, just 8-11 into the second period. So the Preds were up to now down to 8-26 into the second. Saros comes with a save on McBain, 9-37 Ingram, a save on Stastny, 9-44 Ingram, a save on Jankowski. We cross over the middle point of this game, and we see Kraus picking up a penalty at 10-08, two minutes for roughing. Gus Nyquist cashes in for the National Purse on the power play with his 21st goal of the season. It was Philip Forsberg, and all eyes on Philip Forsberg. They were watching Phil head towards the top of the faceoff circle where he loves to shoot from, and instead he opts to pass across where Nyquist was waiting on the opposite side in almost the same exact location, and Nyquist just rips it for his 21st goal of the season. The Nashville Predators back in this game now down just 4-3. to 11-14 in the second period. Saros comes up with a save on Donut at the 12-36 mark of the second period. It's Bukestad getting his 20th goal of the season. He found himself wide open behind the Nashville Predators line of defense after some sloppy, sloppy D-zone play and a couple of different turnovers. Arizona's got their two-goal lead back, now leading 5-3, to three, but they're extending it. At 16.05 of the second period, Schmaltz gets his 21st goal just faster to the net than Roman Yossi, and Roman Yossi's last-second desperation stick check was just not going to stop anything right here. Schmaltz forces that puck over the goal line into the net by bringing the jam on the speed 6-3 to three now in favor of Arizona. 17-26 in the second period. Ingram comes with the save on Luzon. 17-31 mark of the second period. Jankowski's off the box. Two minutes for cross-checking, but the Arizona Coyotes would not get any shots on goal. It would be a strong penalty kill for the Nashville Predators, but the damage here in the second period is very much done. The Arizona Coyotes, now at the end of the second period, are out shooting Nashville 27-22. to They had 15 shots on goal in the second period. We start the third period with a goaltending change. You see Saros is out. Kevin Lankinen is in. And at the 49 second mark of the third period, we find Lankinen coming up with a save on Bukestad, his first touch of the game. 149 back to work. Another save on Kraus at the 257 mark of the third period. Ingram comes up with a save on Tommy Novak at 355 of the third period. Ingram comes up with a save on Gus Nyquist and 634. Ingram, a save on Novak's wraparound opportunity. Really good scoring opportunity in the Preds continuing to generate some pressure here Tommy Novak and Nyquist particularly having a good third period 634 of the third period it's Ingram coming with a save on Novak and then another save on Glass plus the follow-up by Sissons at 816 well then we go to the 1124 mark we're crossed over the middle point of this third period Lankton comes with a save on O'Brien and then the Preds trying some desperation attempts to get back in this game pull the net minder Lankton in at 1357 we find Michelli getting his 13th of the season and empty net goal that puts Arizona up seven to three 1547 of the third period we see Bukestad off to the box two minutes for tripping on Tommy Novak so again Novak continues having good third period the power play for the Nashville purse allows Philip Porsberg to pick up his 41st goal of the season also sets the franchise record for consecutive games with a goal with that goal it was a backhand bar down and it was a sweet finish by Philip Forsberg, the National Purrs goals leader. That was the captain, Roman Yossi, keeping the puck in at the blue line and seemingly in one motion, kept it in and had the vision to find Forsberg wide open at the top of the faceoff circle. Forsberg had plenty of room to skate the puck in, and that backhand was pretty sick right there. The National Purrs down 7-4 to four at this moment in the game. 18-28 with the empty net scenario. The Arizona Coyotes are going to cash in one last time. Cooley is going to get his... His 16th goal of the season. It's an empty net goal, of course. It is his third goal of the game. It is the hat trick. And for the small number of people that were there, they did donate some hats to the rink. It is going to be 8-4 at this moment. And thankfully, that game comes to its conclusion. The Nashville Predators lose 8-4, to are outshot by the Arizona Coyotes, 42-37. And the historic franchise point streak comes to an end very late at night in the desert in a game where, frankly, the Nashville Predators just did not have it. And maybe in the first 10 minutes, but that's a cliche road game where the home team gets barnstormed for 10 minutes, gives up a couple of goals, then claws back in and ends up winning the game uh, big. The Nashville Predators look just fine in the first six minutes of the game, but then uh, just gave this game away. They were slower to pucks, and the better way to say
say is Arizona was faster to pucks. Arizona was faster to the net. They were a little bit more detailed in their game. And the Arizona Coyotes, frankly, were playing a little bit more free, a little bit more loose. And they earned this victory. Eight to four. What a weird series these two teams had this year between the National Predators and the Arizona Coyotes. We've got more coming up on this game. we got to do the box score. we got to go through some analysis. We've got to share some opinions. And we're happy to do so. So please join us after this break right here on the Renegades of Puck podcast. 